It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. Welcome. I am playing B Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. That is, that sounds like a Castlevania game to you. It's because, well, basically it is. It is... Okay, so it's it's the first Bloodstained game to ever come out, but it's the second Bloodstained game to ever get announced. So back in some part of the last decade, um, not the last decade, but the last 10 years, um, Koji Igarashi. Oh, piss. Is it going to hit me? No, oh, it's still going to hit me, huh? Um, the, uh, one of the guys that oversaw the Castlevania series for Konami uh, at the end of its, you know, like, ever since, like, I guess not the end, because it started on the PlayStation for him. Um, ever since PlayStation and Symphony of the Night, um, he left Konami and he did a, a Kickstarter for a game called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, and that is, it was one of the most funded game Kickstarters ever. Made something like six million. Um, and it's basically going to revive the uh, castle, or the Metroidvania style games of Castlevania uh, without the Castlevania branding. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's going to have a huge kind of castle for you to explore. And for, and you know, it will also look like one of those Castlevania games from PlayStation, uh, Symphony of the Night, and then also on Game Boy Advance and DS. Um, let me let me get past this part. I have not seen this yet. Can I talk to you? So I have to hit X, right, to do that. I wonder if I can throw it from up here. Yeah, eat it. Eat it. God, I'm so clever. Um, this is not that, though. This is not Ritual of the Night. This is Curse of the Moon. They announced this just a little bit ago, and it was part of the... It was part of the Kickstarter as a stretch goal. So if the, if the, if the game project made so much money, they promised they would make an 8-bit eight like D-Make that was similar to the Castlevania games for NES. That is this. Uh, it is definitely a, a D-Make. All right, now I get this cool whipping. Um, oh, no. Cutscene. Oh, that's a big old boss. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I gotta avoid this, I think. Eat it. Can I get back up there? You look like you're in pain, dude. This is good. Um, so this plays like the uh, NES games, Castlevania one and two and three. Closer, I can probably can't attack him from here, huh? Oh boy! He exhausted some flame right on my buns. I got charred buns now. I mean, there's not much else to say about it other than like it is one of those NES Castlevania games, but new. It's you know on everything. Oh man, fell off. Now I can't really attack him. No, I don't have one of those things anyhow. So, all right, let's get out of here. Um, <clears throat> And, you know, it's it's made in the Bloodstained universe, which, uh, I mean, honestly, is just a stand-in for the Castlevania universe. It, it does a good job at that. I'm almost dead. Hopefully I don't have to lose too much progress. Come on, you're dead. You're... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I was just kind of hoping that I could just spam attack and kill him. Um, two lives left. One life left. One life left to live. I am digging this, though. So this, I mean, it's got... If it looks like, oh man, that looks super old and bad. I mean, this is what Cas. I mean, if you're young and you didn't know what Castlevania looked like back on the Nintendo Entertainment System, this was it. This is what Konami was working with back then. Uh, these sort of this like orange character sprite, um, these you know the, these colorful backgrounds that that were still very blocky and uh, digitized. Um, but it's all it's all about these these levels and these worlds and these monsters that you get to fight and in Castlevania. You were going into ca into Dracula's castle to take him on. Here, you're just kind of, you're going in to take on demons, and did not time that correctly. And hell hell dogs, devil dogs coming to kill me. Um, they definitely do a lot of work in this game to sort of recreate the characters or the monsters you remember, and give you a chance to fight them. Uh, but they they're a little bit they're different enough. 
that they will not get a cease and desist letter from... Well, they might, but they should be able to fight it off in court if they do, uh, from Konami, I mean to say. Um, so in this game, this game separates itself from the uh, classic Castlevania games by giving you multiple characters to, to uh, select from. Uh, but I've, I've not got to that point yet. I hope we get there really soon. I imagine we will. Um, and, like, I think you switch between them at any time. So right now I am just this regular dude who has a sword. Um, he wants to kill monsters so bad that he brought a sword with him, his own sword from his collection. Uh, and we should get a lady that I think uses a whip, and then there's a wizard or, like, a magician or something who uses just magic powers. All right, we had... Oh, wait, do I have... That? Okay, no, I do have that, but I don't... Hopefully I have enough... Yeah, the weapon points up there. So I have 14 out of 20 weapon points. Very cool. Now let's see if I can talk to this guy. I didn't do that last time. He's just sort of pointing this way. I don't know. I don't know. Um. But yeah, so so it's like Cat. But like a lot of the basics here are still very much Castlevania. I'm breaking these lamps open to get weapon points up there to fill up my weapon meter so I can use the secondary weapon. I can spam the sword as much as I want. That's not going to hurt any hurt anything. It's not going to take anything away. Um, and now I'm back up to 20 out of 20, so I have plenty here. I think this is the whip. I think I do want the whip because uh, having that diagonal attack, I think that's why it gives it to you right here because it knows you're about to go fight this boss. Um, that is very much a Castlevania thing where... These secondary weapons, you'll find them all over the place, but the, the certain, uh, these certain weapons work really good on certain enemies and certain bosses. Um, looks like they're playing that up here Im immediately, and I really, I really appreciate that. Should have jumped down. I could have got a few more attacks in there. But I only have, like, two more hits with the, uh, the whip. Um, oh! Dodge moves! Come on, let's do this thing. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, damn it. Um, so this game is developed by NT Creates, and not necessarily just like Koji Igarashi and the team that's working on Ritual of the Night. So NT Creates is a, a Japanese indie developer. They have done a lot of cool stuff. Um, they, they definitely work with a lot of developers who are trying to bring back their, uh, their franchises. Um... They, I think they've worked on like Mighty Number no. Nine, a few other things. But they've, the, the things that I really like from them are uh, Mighty Gunvolt, which is if you ever played uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt, um, right at the same time that game was coming out, Into Creates released a demake of this new uh, Mega Man-like shooter or Mega Man-like platformer, um, and it's very similar to this, just in the style of Mega Man instead of Castlevania. And I like that game better than the real thing. Um, better than Azure Striker Gunvolt, which is still a very good game. That was a good game. It was, but I, I just... I, what I was looking for at that time was something lighter, and that was definitely Mighty Gunvolt. It was just sort of a... Uh, a really fresh take on the d uh, concept. Now, since then, we've had Shovel Knight, um, which is the holy grail, the, the just the perfect way to do one of these sorts of things where if you're going to take... A, man, if you're going to take a classic franchise... Uh, or a classic gameplay style, a classic era of gaming like the NES. Hey, there we go. I got him that time. Hopefully I don't... Wait, he might have, like, one more attack. Hang on. Never mind. I did not get him that time. Whoa, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I wonder if that was done deliberately. Because it looks like I went down to one health and then it stopped hurting me. I have not played through this part before. So you guys are coming with coming along with me on this ride. Um, so yeah, Shovel Knight just did the NES genre, I guess, at this point. Better than anyone. Anyone. He they, they just they absolutely nailed it. Thank you for saving me. Saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? Uh, you you're a shard binder? Huh. That power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait. It is true that I am shard bi a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. I have to like sit back to read these pixelated words. <laughs> then show me the proof of that de determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally. All right. So I think I just press up. With the new allies, it appears I can use the L and R buttons to switch places with them. 
No one is without strengths and weaknesses. If I make good use of my allies, I can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. Whenever I reach a crossroads, I'll take the shortest path without fail. If I come to a fork in the path where I can't determine the shortcut, I'll follow the remains of the fallen, fallen, fallen adventurers Sorry, to lead me in the right direction. Each of my allies has their own stamina. If their health gets low, quickly switch places with quick Quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Each type of sub-weapon that appears when destroying lamps can only be used by a certain person. It seems no one else can even pick them up. Okay. So I just hit L and R and it's an instantaneous thing. That feels very good. The world pauses for a second. Uh, we got some good stuff and she's got a good whip. Can I hold it down? Can't do the hold down thing. Yeah, cool. So these guys are just telling me where to go. They're just like signposts. That's neat. Skeleton signposts. Um... So why this isn't Ritual of the Night, why it isn't like Symphony of the Night, it's not just one world, it is levels, uh, and again, this is just like it was on the NES. Is she, uh... Oh, so she's got her own. Okay, that's cool. So I wonder if those are like, the secondary weapons are like, all oh, like, confined to one of these characters or the other. Like, I wonder if different weapons drop from lamps, depending on who you are. Let's go kill this knight dude. Alright, let's take the stairs. I'm just gonna go up there and kill him. Go up there and kill you. Uh, so far, good music in this, too. Um, I, yeah, I'm just into this. I'm digging what this game is. Oh, I have to go up this way. All right. Oh, whoa. Okay, so she can do the slide. Very slick. This way, no. So what? Can I? Let me try some stuff with him. So what? What is? It? Oh wow! I wonder if she could not. Maybe she wouldn't have been able to break that wall. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way first. So there are multiple paths. Paths through these levels. Um, try to put these guys before they get close. And you should be able to go back uh, later and, and take different paths. But the way I, do, I think the way they do that is interesting that it involves some sort of time travel mechanic. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll get through, the, we'll try to see if we can get to another boss, um, before I end this video. I'll just say that I am, I'm super into what this game is, what it's trying to do. Turn on the a little bit. Uh, th I'm, I'm very, very much into th this idea, this sort of demake of, um, you know, modern releases. Like, I mean, if you think about it that way... Ritual of the Night is already a demake in a way. I mean, it's it's just a, you know, a demake being the term of like, oh, you're going to take a, a, an idea, take a game, and break it down to its component parts until it's an, it, it's an 8-bit version of itself, or like what is the equivalent of an NES game version of itself. Um, and Ritual of the Night does that same concept just with a, a PlayStation or, or Game Boy Advance, um, you know, level of, of graphics and the way games work. Um... But those games could still be very complicated and very uh, in depth, and they require uh, skill and all, you know, not okay, that's not right. These games require skill. But they require um, maybe more more of a more, maybe for you to put more of an effort in. Like you have to really be paying attention to how things work. And these games are very much pick up and play. NES games were always like that. Um, they they could have depth. They absolutely could. But for the most part, like you could start playing and get into the action immediately. And the thing that you would be doing 
at the end of the game, you would probably be doing close to the start. It looks like maybe this will have a little bit more of a progression, just unlocking these characters. But look, I mean, I've already got her. We've only been playing for a little bit. Uh, okay, that must be a, a different path right there. So it's telling me to go this way because it's like, this is a, uh, a fork in the road. Cool. I wonder if those guys are, um, are checkpoints. I wonder if that's how that works. Shuriken! Oh, you big dumbass bat. Oh, fuck me. Well, we'll find out right now if that's a, uh, if that's a checkpoint. Nope. Oh, I have that. Yeah, so that, I mean, it is different depending on who you are. Oh, wait. Oh, she's dead. That's interesting. All right. So I still have four lives, though. That's really cool. So I could have gone up. There was some way to, like, go up instead. So I'm digging that. Whoa! Ding dong! Chill out! So can I jump over these? Oh, piss. So I wonder if I, if they both come back. Yeah, all right, there we go. So let's try. Damn it. There we go, this is useful. I'm gonna try to slide underneath it. She's almost dead again. It's kind of a dick move to put those candles right there. Alright, sweet. So this should be able to attack him down there, I think. Oh, wow. Alright, that was a big waste of time. Alright, let me go up. I'm gonna go back over this way. Try this again. Wait for it to come. Now. Alright, there we go. There we go. We're figuring this out, guys. And now I switch to her and I do the, the slidey thing. Back and do the slidey thing. It's a very good slide, though. So it's, it's a slide you would never would have seen on the NES, so it never would have looked this cool. Look at that with her hair whipping. Just very good stuff. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> She's dead! No! Damn it. Alright, this should be bad. Yeah, there we go. This is the holy water thing, I think. Yeah, that's easier. Thankfully, I already got that. I don't need to go back under under there again. Eat it, you ding dong. All right. Whoops! I mean, something's coming from above, and they're being very much on the nose with the uh, secondary weapons. Want this then? I guess I guess I do. Okay, so let's see if we can beat this boss. I wish I had both characters, but oh well. Man, he's flying. I guess I kind of wish I had the. Uh... Oh, come on, game. Don't be so cheap. I 
I got you now. What are you? You're like a turtle mantis? hit. It's probably going to be one of these. Okay, I can kind of see where it's going. Oh, shit. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll have both characters. We'll come back. We'll do this. We got this. You know what? You know what's happening right now? I'm just thinking about... Whoa, this is pretty far back, guys. Alright, whatever. We'll make this work. Like that. Let's use this holy water on your ass. Wash your ass. Let's uh, get your weapon stamina back up and add them. No, you, okay, you share that. So why'd you say the st Oh, the stamina must just mean health. Okay. Must just mean health. Interesting. We all learned something today. I feel good about it. Ah. Son of a gun. I did better the first time. That was a... I just missed. Shit. Man, I just... I'm, I'm owning myself. Lots of self owns here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I did it again. I ran. I... Those jumps where I'm just like trying to get a little bit closer, but I end up just running into them is very frustrating. Oh, she's already got. Okay, well, she healed. Alright, that's fine. We'll make this work. Try whatever this is. I think it's just the axe. Damn it. Damn it. All right, well, she's already dead. That can't hurt you, huh? You're invulnerable during that state. Okay. We'll give it one more go. Uno mas. Alright. Uno mas. Oh my god. You dead. Hopefully there's healing here. 
think I want to keep this power up. So let's remember not to upgrade his secondary weapon. Oh, he's got more health in her too. That's that's interesting. So this checkpoint's back, but it's not too far back. This is doable. Do I want that instead? I think I do. Nope, I didn't get it. That sucks. These things disappear really fast. Alright, let me switch. I think that went right along with him and t uh, hit him a bunch. Oh my god. Oh, that was a waste. Man, stop jumping into him. His sword's so short, though, it makes me want to, like, jump over. as hell. Now, I, I, it feels like if that guy dies, I should be able to just, like, go back, or I should be able to switch to her immediately instead of having to do this and now without him. Like, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, why would I ever want to do this? Also, I don't like that it doesn't, like, throw the uh, other weapon on the floor so I can switch back if I want to. Alright. So, almost no life. Well, half life. And just this one. So, yeah. I think we'll try one more time after this. I only get one life after this, so. I don't know. This game's cool. I'm just going to have to get used to all these things. That are making it more challenging. Oh man, I thought I thought he'd already only done two. Uh. Oh, there we go. All right, one more try. I believe in myself, and I know you believe in me. Together, we shall persevere. So, I mean, I guess the nice thing of, of uh, only one character dying is you get the closer checkpoint, but I don't, I don't know how much that matters to me, really. Oh, piss. I was not thinking that you would be shooting already. And right to the candle. Getting really good at these parts. I 
just that one jar of magic, too. Still messing that up, huh? Doing good. Just die. All right. Second form. We got this. Maybe. Okay. No, don't have it. Because that's insane. Oh, I wonder if this is just the uh, giving us the wizard. Mr. Wizard? Man, the, uh, I forget the audio comes out on my speakers. Hey, what up, homie? That I would be defeated by a demon. I've been thoroughly humiliated, and I am Alfred, an alchemist. I'm alchemist. You use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? All right, I'll stop doing that. My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave your head where it is for now. Jeez, man. Threatening to decapitate someone within like four sentences of meeting them. Alfred has become an ally. Really? After I'm like, hey, maybe I won't cut your head off. All right. With new allies, it appears I can use the L and R buttons to... Sp yeah, well, I, we know this. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and skip this, because I think I know. Press Y button, press X button to use points. Yeah, we, we know. I don't have any weapon points, so that's my big issue there. All right, so it's cool that they each have their own secondary weapons. That That's really fun. Um... Let's try out Alfred for a second, and we'll, we'll take it from there. The brilliant sword. Yeah. Just got this rod that he's rocking. Ooh, cool. So I, I maybe he doesn't have secondary weapons, he just has this cool thing, but I guess we'll see what happens right here. Oh no, I do have... I have this thing. I have this double... Alright, cool. So they're, they're each different, and looks like... They're sort of inspired by the character type that they are, like the archetype. Like, he is a, an alchemist and a wizard, basically. Um, so he can do all kinds of different magic stuff. Oh man, I can rock two of these things at the same time, too. He's got very little life, though. You can see his health is really low. What are you up to, dude? Yeah, give me a big, big jar of that shit. Whoa, homie. Yeah, cool. So I, I kind of have to... Whoa, okay. Oh, you shot him to death. All right, you know what? That's going to do it for me. We can see what we have to do there. I just mistimed it. Thank you for watching, guys. Jeff Grove with Games Beat. This has been Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I'm going to play the rest of this. Uh, all by my lonesome, or maybe on stream, uh, twitch.tv slash jeffgrub if you want to see that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with more soon, someday, I'm sure. Uh, until then, I don't know, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. If you're watching this on a day that's not the day before Memorial Day weekend, um, oh, rock hard. That's what I always say. Have, good, have a good one, everybody. Bye.